Thanks for your support. Visit RestoredRepublic.co for the latest and earliest videos. Become our monthly supporter by clicking the Give Zengo link below each video. Our content is restricted by many social media platforms and payment gateways. So we are very grateful for your support until now. We would not be able to function without your support. God bless us all. Restored Republic via GCR, update as of January 9, 2024. The latest video will be shown earlier at the official website Restored Republic. Judy Note, CIA behind Epstein, Israel child sex, drug trafficking, and money laundering operations. Monday 8th of January secret underground tunnels found in New York City under the Synagogue of Satan. A bloody mattress was found, which was possibly being used for satanic rituals. Ten Zionist Jews have been arrested so far. Tucker Carlson, there were 200 FBI agents disguised as Trump supporters on January 6. Higgins, there were 200 FBI agents disguised as Trump supporters on J6. Proof of Nancy Pelosi Capitol Entrapment Day, on camera paid crisis actor John Sullivan confesses January 6 was a plan to take down Donald Trump. Nancy Pelosi's daughter filmed the event and sold it to HBO. On film, we did it. You were right we did it. Is this not gonna be the best film you've ever made in your life, hell yeah. The Black Swan event has already started. It's a shipping and supply chain event, not a coming stock market crash. We were told to watch the water, not the stock market. It's being protected for the retirement, pension and tax deferred account balances mirrored onto the QFS. The talking heads want to use 3D ideas because that's all they know and could care less what God's plan is. God's taken care of everything in 5D, Sukarvath, new drug that is 10 times more potent than fentanyl confirmed in the U.S. Monday 8 Jan, Texas American rancher says U.S. government facilitating plans for a planned food shortage and depopulation. Says due to state officials harvest-ready cows are being euthanized, dumping out hundreds of thousands of gallons of milk. Plowing vegetable crops from coast to coast, euthanizing millions of chickens, aborting sows, and feeder pigs, preparing us to depopulate. Monday 8th of January Update Farmer Protests Germany Yesterday, farmers from Romania also arrived in Germany. The shipping industry has also joined the protests. All entrances and exits to major cities are now blocked. Netherlands slash Germany, border at Terrapel is also blocked. Thousands of motorcyclists and cyclists have now joined the protests to help farmers and truck drivers against the globalist struggle. The police seem to be completely overwhelmed and the globalists are doing their utmost to censor and stop all reporting on the popular uprising currently taking place there. This means that farmers now have support from the following countries, Austria, Hungary, France, Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, Poland, Switzerland, Romania. Police union boss Reiner went praises the farmers' protests, all attempts to criminalize our farmers and push them into the right-wing corner have failed. A. What we think we know this of Monday, January 8, 2024, with implementation of the global currency reset the stock market will be shut down and may never reopen. All banking worldwide will be done through personal accounts on the Starlink satellite system, which is unhackable. The banks will be service providers and no longer will have access to your money, only you. In 1969 the U.S. Federal Reserve had $10 million metric tons of gold. It now had less than $8,183 tons of gold, or perhaps had none at all. The Vatican tunnel that ran to Jerusalem and on to Switzerland contained 19.525 quadrillion troy ounces of gold stacked 13 levels high, representing the 13 bloodline families. In 1916 Dr. Charlie Ward's team took the gold out of the tunnel and flew it back in 650 plane loads to its rightful owners in various countries, mainly the new U.S. Treasury. B. Rumored possible timeline, Sunday, July 30, 2023 Putin announced the global currency reset. Monday, July 31, 2023 Putin signed a digital ruble bill into law. At the August 23, 2023 BRICS summit BRICS alliance nations abandoned the fiat US dollar. For some time the Iraqi dinar has been trading upward on the back screens of the forex. By January 1, 2024 the new dinar in country rate was revalued and being used within Iraq while the fiat U.S. federal dollar was outlawed in the country. On twos. December 26, 2024 Jazar was softly announced publicly to select media outlets through the Starlink satellite system, which made it legal. Jazara has started between all governments worldwide. Nizera is now liquid under the USN. The money is flowing. 
Monday 1st of January the RV occurred for Iraq, the new in-country Iraqi dinar rate was being used in country in Iraq, while the fiat US federal dollar was banned from the country. On Saturday 6th of January, the Secretary of the Treasury was in Reno finalizing the efforts to launch the final phase of the pre-revaluation process. From Swiss business partner Luciano Pardo, received from a contact in Italy, all RV liquidity releases, bondholders, tiers A, B, fines and penalties, CMKX, farm claims, prosperity packages, are expected to take place this last weekend. Monday 8th of January South Africa and parts of China and the UK reported to be on lockdown. Disclosure began and will last for a couple of weeks. The banks received the codes and from there to Friday 12th of January was the window according to Charlie Ward. Wednesday 10th of January. The world would be asset-backed, all 210 countries, Charlie Ward Thursday 11th of January formal public announcement of Nizra, Jazara. 2s. January 16, 2024 new Basel III capital requirements being implemented. Wednesday 17th of January. Formal public announcement of the new gold-slash-asset-backed U.S. note. See Global Currency Reset, Midnight ESD Sunday 7th of January. To Monday 8th the disclosure block will begin and last for a few weeks. Monday 8th of January marks, there is a lot of chatter today about bonds out of both Reno and Zurich. On both the bond and group sides, I am hearing very positive things. They are specifically looking at dates between Tuesday 9th of January and Sunday 14th of January. This does give us a range to look at, especially on the bond side with my bond contacts. On Monday 8th of January the banks will have the codes and from there to Friday 12th of January is the window, Charlie Ward. Monday 8th of January Sheila, the Baghdad Stock Exchange has begun using the Nasdaq electronic system. Our baby is born. That big trade fair with the richest countries in the world starts Wednesday 10th of January. Wednesday 10th of January. To Friday 12th of January Texas Snake, the folks I am hearing from are suggesting our notifications will occur between the wed. 10th and Friday 12th of January, with exchanges commencing somewhere between Thursday 18th and Sat. 20th. The whole world is going asset-backed on Wednesday 10th of January, all 210 countries, Charlie Ward, Thursday January 11th, official public announcement from Nizra, Jazara. Wednesday January 17th, official public announcement of the new U.S. asset-slash-gold-backed banknote. By Tuesday, January 30th, countries around the world will be fully integrated into the quantum financial system. Wolverine, there are some whales that got paid. I know I was on the live call when that happened. Incredible news again. Lots of movement in Reno. I know AAA high-level whales who were traveling to Reno to get paid and some whales have been paid. Sunday 7th of January. Nizar and Jazara, the cry for restitution and justice, the shocking truth about our stolen wealth and the cry for restitution. Monday 8th of January New Dave XRP Lion, gotta know this at Redemption Center, January 2024. Monday 8th of January BRICS countries have completely de-dollarized and stopped using Western financial systems. Exporters in Iran, Russia now pay each other completely in their national currencies independent of the West-based SWIFT payment system, Tehran Central Bank said. Banks of two countries no longer need Switzerland to connect to each other and commercial banks of both countries can establish intermediary relations according to Iranian Central Bank Deputy Head Karimi. The deep state cabal U.S. Incorporated uses the SWIFT system as an economic weapon to isolate countries and impose sanctions. Monday 8th of January Goldilocks, most people on this venture do not realize what's really going on at this point. Did you know you are sitting on a gold mine? Every currency that you hold from around the world is about to be turned into gold and holding a value at a fixed rate of it. Watch what happens this month as certain transitional events will begin the process of turning everything that has an asset value to one that is based on its worth in gold. Literally, everything is about to be worth its weight in gold. January 10th Spot Bitcoin ETF January 16th Basel III Final Rule Implementation Protocol 20 begins the process of tokenized assets joining networks from around the world in three phases. D currency exchange, bond redemption protocols of the XRP quantum financial system Judy note, the following was not officially authorized protocol, but merely a compilation of information that may or may not be accurate. Everyone who has bought foreign currency or ZIM bonds from a certified dealer will receive an email, text or phone call from Wells Fargo that contains a 800 number to call for your exchange slash redemption appointment. This 800 number can be sent to others for their use. 
When you call the 800 number you will be asked questions to confirm your identity. They will then route you to a regional call center closest to your home, or to location of your choice where you will make your appointment. Arrive at your appointment no sooner than 10 min. Before. Your appointment will last around 30 minutes, a redemption guide will meet you and help you throughout your appointment as you go through 9 stations. Station 1 Know your client, present your ID, two picture IDs are recommended. You will be given a resonance scan of your biometric vibrations, that will detect the bad guys. If you don't pass the scan you cannot exchange or redeem. Station 2 Currency Exchange, Zimbon Redemption, you will hand over your currency and or bonds to be verified and counted. It is recommended that you keep pictures of all your currency and bonds in case of questions about their validity. It is also recommended that you have the currency and or bonds separated and accounted for on a cover sheet so there is no question about what you turned over. It is at station 2 where, if you have been given currency or bonds, you will hand over notarized and signed gift letters done by whoever gave you the currency or bonds. If you do not have gift letters, you cannot exchange those bonds or currency you were given. Also at station 2 you will do your actual exchange. If you have dinar, ask them for the contract or special rate, whichever is higher. I have heard the dinar special rate is anywhere from $11 to $17 as compared to the international rate of just over $4. Station 3 Security Protection Your own biometric vibration is added to your Quantum Access account in Quantum Card, QAAC. Station 4, you will supply a password and create your own Quantum Access account and card. Station 5, you will receive a quantum computer and quantum phone. Station 6, you will create your QFS transfer accounts. Station 7, you will receive your KAK ATM card. Station 8, you can request gold slash access back cash, checks and proof of funds letters. Station 9 Human Initiative Trust, you can present a 15 to 30 second snapshot of your humanitarian project and then a 3 to 10 minutes project presentation. You give them a 3 to 4 page copy of your project and have them sign and date your second copy that you keep. You will need to tell them how much money you need for your project in the first 90 days, including what it will be used for. During your exchange you will be required to sign a non-disclosure agreement, NDA. That agreement will normally last 90 days. That NDA is reported, recorded and stored on your account on the quantum financial system. Read the NDA carefully before you sign it. If you violate that NDA your QFS account will be frozen and you will lose all of your money. E-Global Financial Crisis, consumers are rejecting the deep state cabal's great reset. Whether it's COVID-19 vaccines, eating bugs, driving EVs, munching fake meat, or living in the metaverse with censorship, none of it's working. 64 U.S. bank branches announced shocking closure in a single week, J.P. Morgan, Wells Fargo, and Goldman Sachs close hundreds of branches. In a startling wave of financial upheaval, 64 U.S. bank branches, including giants like PNC Bank and J.P. Morgan Chase, have shockingly filed for closure within a mere seven days. This unprecedented move has sent shockwaves through the banking sector, leaving customers scrambling for answers and wondering if their trusted financial institutions are becoming casualties of a sinister trend. Brace yourselves for an expose on the ominous surge of branch closures that is reshaping the landscape of American banking. The deep state cabals BlackRock to lay off 600,3% of global workforce. Monday 8th of January China's Evergrande, the head of heavily indebted Chinese property developer Evergrande's electric vehicle unit has been detained, the firm said on Gen 8. Monday 8th of January Economic Black Swan Event Barclays axes 5,000 jobs worldwide as part of cost-cutting drive. Monday 8th of January Why are Germans hoarding billions of useless Deutsche Marks? F Global Internet Shutdown, Country Lockdown, Monday 8th of January Intelligence agencies across the globe to initiate cyber war communication blackouts Monday 8th of January US, Canada, UK, Australia, New Zealand, Germany, France, Italy, Poland in secret talks to initiate worldwide martial law. Monday 8th of January South Africa on lockdown. President Ramaphosa arrested Monday 8th of January Pakistan shuts down Internet. United Airlines has found loose bolts and other parts on 737 MAX 9 plug doors as it inspects its fleet of Boeing jets following the Friday rapid depressurization aboard an Alaska Airlines jet of the same make. U.S. public schools are now beginning the narrative seed for a lockdown 2.0, conditioning students and parents alike for at-home learning. Additionally, schools are now being influenced directly 
theoretically through lobbying and back pay incentives to local boards, to put students' PIN information on school-required learning programs, but with servers hosted by Google slash Alphabet. This amounts to an earth-shattering invasion of children's privacy, including their demographic, academic, and address slash lineage data, by a third-party organization already shown out through investigative journalism to be little more than an extension of the U.S. DOJ slash FBI and U.S. intelligence community. G. Military and training for implementation of the emergency broadcast system This will ensure everyone is safely placed in their home and able to witness the historical moment that reveals all of the truths, cover-ups etc. through the EBS which is imminent. There must be a test and then a review of all occurrences and activities. The possible implications on a national and global level can be quite complicated so things must be in alignment to the protocols. Yes there are many consequences if things aren't done with precision and perfection. This is the practice run before the real one folks to see responses and accuracy to what is forthcoming which changes humanity. We hear the schedule is now finally firm, but again I'm just the messenger. Be ready to adjust if needed in regards to possible time changes. Only a select few know the moment of exact and precise timing of events. For security and other obvious reasons it must be properly kept private. The EBS is going to air playing an 8-hour video. It will be replaying three times a day for 10 days communication darkness. During those 10 days of communication darkness the following things will happen. We will receive 7 trumpets aka EBS text messages on our phones alerting us to tune into our TV at this time. Our phones will only work for 911 and we are informed the Signal app, which is military encrypted will be available. Our internet will not work during that time. Our ATMs will not work. After the 10 days of communication darkness, we will connect to a new quantum internet. People are urged to stock up on at least 3 weeks of food and water. Be prepared with food, water, toilet paper, generators etc. for this great awakening reveal. We are promised the new Starlink internet system by the end of the month. As we speak the teams coordinating this important historic event are revamping the EBS to ensure the utmost security for all involved so remain patient as things get finalized. They want to make certain there are not any interferences of any sort at all. Those making the plan want no one to panic whatsoever because it's simply the release of the truth. After the EBS and we've gone through the 10 days mainstream media blackout and sat through all the 24-7, 8 hours long movies, do we go back to normal like business as usual? Answer is, after EBS and the 8 hours long 24-7, movies all will change. The, life support, attached to the old and evil systems will be pooled. Humanity, and planet Earth simultaneously move to quantum reality consciousness system, peace and prosperity. End of financial and human consciousness enslavement. Old systems of government, education, finance, health, trade and commerce etc., will all be dismantled and replaced. We will have new currency called the US and US note and gold backed. The time is now to alert as many who will listen. Do not have too much pride. Go warn those you love even though they think you're crazy. Your goal for others is truly to help absorb the shock of what is coming. H. Restored Republic, Monday 8th of January More FAA Boeing Groundings. It's not just happening in the US, EU has also sent warnings about grounding planes. Monday 8th of January Hong Kong cancels 21 flights on Monday. Secretary of Defense goes MIA, powers transferred, same day as accountability letter issued to department. I. The Real News for Monday, January 8, 2023, Sunday 7th of January. Germany Farmers Protest Brandenburg. Germany will be shaken by the nationwide revolt. Farmers in Straubing, Bavaria, taking position for tomorrow's nationwide revolt against the regime in Berlin. Friday 5th of January The hidden agenda behind the 2024 U.S. blackout and cyber attacks, Obama, Schwab, Harp, EMP, Cheyenne Mountain, White Hats, Military is the only way. Sunday 7th of January. Rhetoric versus Reality, Speaker of the House Mike Johnson invites Joe Biden to tell America the State of the Union, Monday 8th of January Deep State crashes stock market, Nizera slash Jazar and Next. Monday 8th of January Former U.S. Assistant Secretary of the Treasury, Monica Crowley, succinctly summarizes the real underlying agenda of the human-induced climate change hoax. It's really all about power and control. They know that the energy sector in the West, and particularly in the U.S., is the biggest lever that they have available to them to affect the fundamental transformation of the nation. If they can conquer fossil fuels, they can leverage the entire U.S. economy into a more kind of collectivist, socialist kind of model, with them in control. 
That's why they continue this war on fossil fuels. Monday 8th of January failed Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin should be fired immediately for improper professional conduct and dereliction of duty. He has been missing for one week, and nobody, including his boss, crooked Joe Biden, had a clue as to where he was, or might be. He has performed poorly, and should have been dismissed long ago, along with General Mark Milley, for many reasons, but in particular the catastrophic surrender in Afghanistan, perhaps the most embarrassing moment in the history of our country, Donald Trump. Monday 8th of January officials are sounding the alarm about the grave dangers posed by the lithium-ion batteries found in electric vehicles. Is it any surprise that ferry companies and underground car parks are banning EVs, insurance companies are refusing to insure them, and EV owners are struggling to sell them on the second-hand market? J. Wars and Rumors of Wars Monday 8th of January Russian Federation deployed nuclear weapons to Belarus. Chinese whistleblower reveals Xi has ordered plan to be ready to attack Taiwan in the next two weeks with direct plans to interfere with the upcoming presidential election. Remember Xi is on the good side and has dismantled the CCP and the biolabs slash dumps and tunnels in Taiwan while eyes were on Russia and Ukraine. The Taiwan elections are on the 13th January. K. International Child Sex Trafficking Organ and adrenochrome harvesting ring run out of the Vatican and housed in China's Three Gorges Dam in the 1,500-mile tunnel that runs between the Vatican and Jerusalem. Sunday 7th of January. Ghana Child Trafficking, U.S. charity accused of taking kids from their parents in Ghana. An American organization called the International Justice Mission supposedly sends American agents into Ghanaian homes and forcefully removes children away from their own parents and guardians all in the name of rescuing children from child traffickers. Saturday 6th of January Secret Underground Tunnel Network Unearthed, Exposing Dark Secrets of Pizzagate Monday 8 Jan, the Biden Justice Department slash FBI is hiding hard drives slash tapes shot by Jeffrey Epstein and the intel agencies chronicling their abuse of children. It's clear that the FBI is complicit in protecting high-profile pedophiles by not releasing the footage. Much like the mainstream media protected, and ran cover for Epstein's entire blackmail operation for many years. This information is way more powerful than the Epstein client list. Saturday 6th of January The leaked document, Pope Francis' complicity exposed, deep dives into the Vatican child trafficking scandal. Friday 5th of January Watching, Waiting, Winning, President Donald Trump posted this must-watch video on Truth Social this morning, following the massive exposure of deep state pedophilia. Sunday 7th of January. BQQM. Q military intelligence operations and the revealing Epstein's list, a global pedophile ring connected to Israeli intel, the Pentagon, the CIA, MI6, and more, Russian model who witnessed VIPs raping kids on Epstein Island supposedly committed suicide. Archbishop Carlo Maria Vagano exposes Pizzagate and names Hillary Clinton, John Podesta and former editor of The Recount, Slade Somer, who was recently arrested for child porn. He also discusses how Jeffrey Epstein ran a blackmail operation on his island and collected evidence of well-known people committing heinous ritual crimes against children. Sexualizing kids is part of UN Agenda 2030. It is their goal to get all this done by then. The official statements from the United Nations are clear. They want the entire world to be transformed. Making sure that little children have sexual relationships, learn how to masturbate and use online pornography as part of this agenda. Ages 0 to 4 learn masturbation and developing an interest in their own and other bodies. Ages 4 to 6 learn masturbation and encouraged to express sexual needs. Ages 6 to 9 learn about sexual intercourse, use online pornography, having a secret love and self-stimulation. Ages 9 to 12 first sexual experience to learn to use online pornography. In the United States, the Biden administration has released statements confirming plans to implement this agenda throughout the USA as soon as possible, and no later than 2030. Via Instagram Monday 8th of January Robert Campbell, this post is very difficult for me to write. It took me some time to confirm the happenings in D.C. But it was confirmed. I was sent pictures of some of the tunnels and children in those tunnels. I cannot show those pics. It's too horrific. I am sorry I looked at them. Everyone has seen the thousands of body bags waiting to be shipped. Now we know why. There were still tunnels and dumps all around the world that needed to be cleaned up. In the DC tunnels there were thousands of children who were half alive and thousands were dead. They had their organs harvested. Many half eaten. I have never seen anything like it.
These tunnels in the dumps were there since that monster George H.W. Bush ordered them built, and have been used by every president and Congress since then until President Trump. Epstein is continuing to give intel on tunnels around the world. The military informed Trump in January Trump ordered the operation and moved out of the White House so they can go in and take care of it. That is why so many NG were there. Cat Williams admits Hollywood is run by pedophiles. L COVID slash Ebola slash swine flu slash polio slash smallpox slash BSE, Zika slash SARS slash monkeypox slash AIDS slash VAX slash H1N1 slash graphene oxide slash chemtrails slash fluoride, processed foods, human clones hoaxes. Saturday 6th of January The Cancer Miracles, Cannabis and Coconut Oil Make Powerful Mixture to Kill Cancer Cells, Say No Chemotherapy and Radiation. Monday 8th of January Senator Rand Paul, the biggest lie from the Anthony Fauci was that, the United States government. And with his approval didn't gain a function research in Wuhan. We now have the Department of Energy, FBI and the group of scientists of the CIA who all agree that. In all likelihood COVID-19 from the lab in Wuhan that was funded by U.S. taxpayer dollars and Anthony Fauci continued to deny this. And I believe that to be a lie and I hope he's challenged on that. Do the COVID-19 vaccines reverse transcribe, integrate, and thus become part of human DNA in living, breathing humans? We had no answer to that question, until now. Spoiler alert, the answer is yes, the mRNA COVID vaccine sometimes becomes a part of DNA. A study by July et al. describes an interesting scientific discovery journey by Italian scientists exploring the so-called long COVID. The authors unexpectedly found genes uniquely specific to the Pfizer COVID vaccine in human blood cells. Some experimental subjects' DNA was altered and contained genes that could only come from the Pfizer COVID vaccine. 1918 Spanish flu experiment, injecting bacteria and vaccine shedding. Unbelievable! New CDC document shows that PCR tests for vaccinated people will use a 28-cycle threshold. The CDC guidelines set a 40-plus cycle threshold to inflate the COVID-19 statistics. A 40-cycle threshold produces a 97% false positive rate. Lowering the PCR cycle threshold for vaccinated people is a massive fraud to make it look like the vaccines are working. In 1998's activists shattered the doors of the National Institute of Health in 1990 in a bold insurrection against Dr. Anthony Fauci. Activists lit smoke bombs, carrying an effigy of Fauci's head on a stick, brandishing coffins emblazoned with the defiant phrase, Fuck you Fauci! Fauci stood accused of heinous offenses, deliberately obstructing access to safe, effective, off-patent therapeutic treatments for AIDS, all while shamelessly promoting a pricey and lethal chemotherapy drug that lined the pockets of Big Pharma. Hundreds of affordable treatments remained unstudied, cast aside as Fauci won all in on AZT, an abandoned cancer drug discarded for its fatal toxicity, carrying a staggering price tag of $8,000 per year. AIDS activists accused Fauci of prioritizing Big Pharma's profits over precious human lives. Fast forward three decades to COVID-19, and the chorus of dissent has only intensified. Pediatrician Dr. Larry Pavleski confirmed that aluminium nanoparticles are in vaccines for children. It has been in vaccines since the 1930s. Fauci is being interviewed by the COVID Select Subcommittee today Monday 8 Jan but let's not forget that he recommended the most toxic drug imaginable for hiv aids in the 1980s. AZT was like Hiroshima. One person I interviewed, his brother was perfectly healthy and had been persuaded to go on a high dose of AZT, and he was dead within a year. But also, his face melted, melted away. It's like Hiroshima. Very, powerful, radiation. Fauci appearing before Congress to answer questions on mask mandates, COVID-19 origins. Key bioweapons official publicly accuses Fauci of denial and deception on COVID origins, medical doctor drops post-vaccine ivermectin bombshell, Dr. McCulloch reveals more bad news about the COVID shots. M. Israeli-Palestinian Gaza conflict, Palestinian genocide, statistics on the death of Israeli and Palestinians over two decades. The Palestinian had been dying by Israeli hands for decades and the pro-Israeli propaganda are trying to convince the world, the Palestinian are monsters. Monday 8th of January General Flynn and Alex Jones have exposed Benjamin Netanyahu's leaked plans to ship Gaza war refugees to the United States. They also called for an investigation into Netanyahu and the Israeli military leadership for standing down during the Hamas attacks of October 7th. Senior Education Department official steps down in protest of U.S. policy on Israel-Gaza conflict, 
Biden staffer claims volunteers quitting in droves over Israel support. An Epstein document release, latest Epstein documents released. Court documents allege pedophile financier Jeffrey Epstein secretly recorded sex tapes of Prince Andrew, Bill Clinton, and Sir Richard Branson. The founder of U.S. beauty retailer Bath & Body Works is among a list of high-profile figures named in court documents about late sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. Monday 8th of January Wolverine, Boom! Q Military Intelligence Operations and the Revealing Epstein List, a global pedophile network connected to Israeli intelligence, the Pentagon, the CIA, MI6 and more. Behind the polished facade of democracy lies a sinister web of silence meticulously woven by the very institutions charged with safeguarding the public interest. The disturbing connections between powerful entities raise troubling questions about the extent of their influence on the narrative we consume. The question remains, how deep does the rabbit hole go and who are the real puppeteers pulling the strings? As the Epstein saga unfolds, it is becoming increasingly clear that the CIA, the Pentagon, Israeli intelligence, MI6 and even major financial institutions are entangled in a web of deceit and corruption that could lead to seismic change. In World Affairs O oh, climate change hoax, reformed ex-climate alarmist, there is no climate crisis. There is, no consistent correlation between carbon dioxide and Earth's temperature, at times CO2 was 1,300% of today, and we were stuck in very cold conditions. There is no foundation to the climate scare. It's all based on models that don't work. P. Monday 8th of January NSA Secrets Exposed The UN and globalist elites demise, a strategy against woke agenda, military operations are initiating protocols to align Trump with laws against Hollywood propaganda, targeting MSM-controlled CIA operations. Multiple divisions within DOJ and AG, led by Kash Patel and the military, are crafting legislation to counter UN agendas promoting CIA-linked transgender psychological operations. These forthcoming laws will shake Hollywood, dismantling its propaganda machine. This seismic change is in sync with the impending full Epstein exposure in 2024, the Trump cards unveiling CIA ops, stolen elections, and Hollywood's complicity. The death of wokeism and its global impact, incoming laws aim to disrupt the UN agenda's indoctrination tactics, designed to lead to open pedophilia laws. The hidden motives behind transgender operations, confusing children and normalizing sexuality and pedophilia, are being brought to light. Plans are underway by the Alliance, Trump, and White Hats to counter the Davos, WEF, UN, and CIA-controlled deletes world gender warfare. It's a battle against their dominance over Hollywood and the MSM propaganda machine. Insights into 2024 and beyond, the military world alliance envisions a strong female vice president like Carrie Lake, fostering robust global relationships. This vice president will play a key role in uniting China in the upcoming revolution, foreseen around 2025-26, orchestrating the fall of CCP. As China fragments into separate entities, a new federation will emerge. Meanwhile, efforts are ongoing to integrate black communities into the Trump movement and the Great Awakening, projecting an 80% swing in black votes towards Trump in 2024. This strategic maneuver aims to counter the DNC's alleged corruption and CIA-propagated narratives targeting black communities and the music industry. Get ready for the storm in 2024, the exposure of truths, the demise of age-old agendas, and a revolution on the horizon. Q. David Wilcock, The Cabal Last Ditch Effort, 10 Things They Are Doing and Will Attempt General Protocols of Zion 1. Cyber Warfare Launching large-scale cyber attacks to disrupt communication networks, sow confusion, and compromise election infrastructure, creating an atmosphere of chaos. 2. Economic manipulation, covertly manipulating global financial markets to induce economic crises, creating public unrest and undermining the stability of the winning party. 3. False flag terrorism, staging elaborate terrorist attacks, both domestic and foreign to divert attention, instill fear, and justify increased security measures that could delay or disrupt the transition of power. 4. Information warfare, using disinformation campaigns to manipulate public opinion, discredit the election results, and create distrust in the democratic process. 5. Media control, exerting influence over major media outlets to control narratives, suppress evidence of their crimes, and shape public perception in their favor. Six. Biological threats, 
releasing or threatening to release biological agents, creating health crises that divert resources, strain healthcare systems, and justify the suspension of normal democratic processes. 7. Space-based manipulation, leveraging advanced technologies, including satellites, to create illusions such as fake alien invasions or celestial events, diverting attention from the political landscape. 8. Mass surveillance, intensifying surveillance efforts to monitor and suppress dissent, identifying and neutralizing key figures within the winning party to prevent exposure. 9. Environmental manipulation, employing weather modification technologies to induce natural disasters, fostering humanitarian crises that divert resources and attention away from political matters. 10. Assassination attempts, targeting key figures within the winning party or those poised to expose the group's crimes through covert operations, aiming to eliminate threats to their secrecy. R16 Real Reasons Why Gaddafi Was Killed Colon 1. Libya has no electricity bill, electricity came free of charge to all citizens. 2. There were no interest rates on loans, the banks were state-owned, and the loan of citizens by law 0%. 3. Gaddafi promised not to buy a house for his parents until everyone in Libya owned a home. 4. All newlywed couples in Libya received 60,000 dinars from the government and because of that, they bought their own apartments and started their families. 5. Education and medical treatment in Libya are free. Before Gaddafi, there were only 25% readers, 83% during his reign 6. If Libyans wanted to live on a farm, they received free household appliances, seeds, and livestock. 7. If they cannot receive treatment in Libya, the state would fund them $2300 plus accommodation and travel for treatment abroad. 8. If you buy a car, the government finances 50% of the price. 9. The price of gasoline became 14 cents per liter. 10. Libya had no external debt, and reserves were $150 billion, now frozen worldwide. 11. Since some Libyans can't find jobs after school, the government will pay the average salary when they can't find a job. 12. Part of oil sales in Libya are directly linked to the bank accounts of all citizens. 13. The mother who gave birth to the child will receive $500,014. 40 loaves of bread cost 15 cents. 15. 25% of Libyans had all Elizna diplomas. 16. Gaddafi has implemented the world's biggest irrigation project known as the Big Man Project to ensure water availability in the desert. S. White Hat Intel, the Black Epstein List, White Hats have initiated the exposure of the Black Elite Illuminati Satanic Industry Saga that will connect to Epstein and CIA deep state operations and handlers. The deep state cabal CIA controlled black music industry connected to Epstein, JP Morgan and BlackRock corruption, pedophilia sex ring, extortion, and blackmail. Cat Williams just broke the internet for exposing the blackmail satanic industry. Mass anger erupting inside the US black communities as major artists. Musicians and actors are exposing the dark entertainment system leading to a control deep state agendas. Joe Rogan and Dave Chappelle may do a show on the satanic entertainment industry. At the end of summer Chapel may put his weight behind Trump while exposing the Epstein saga that will explode. Russian, German and Italian cables were all sharing the same information that NATO, US CIA were planning a false flag event in either the Black Sea, or the Mediterranean Sea. Their plan was to sink a US naval ship, kill their own soldiers and blame Russia or the Muslim nations for the attacks, a false flag event that would set off World War III and head into nuclear events. The White Hats have activated media sources inside of the US, Europe and Russia to bring acknowledgement to these planned deep state false flag OPS. We expected Tucker Carlson, Musk, X, Russian media, EU White Hats media and several world conservative news outlets to drop the story of NATO planning these false flag operations. Remember world patriots, the deep state is playing their final cards. Stop US elections, create civil war, create World War III. Another pandemic, virus, alien invasion card, cyber attack blackouts, controlled EMP attacks, and then blame the sun for massive blackouts. T Conspiracy Cabal on Telegram Epstein has full connection to Bill Gates, UN, Davos, CIA, Rockefellers, JP Morgan, World Banks, superpower countries. All connected to US corruption, deep state military industrial complex censorship system of the CIA, Israeli Mossad. M16, Obama, Clintons, 
Cabal Agenda and Creation of the Plandemic and Virus CIA Fauci a Vaccine Planned World War III You military intelligence. No media. No leaks. How many me generals have been in slash out of WH in the past 30 days? Focus on Flynn. Background and Potential Role What is the common denominator in terms of military backgrounds close to POTUS? Why did Soros transfer the bulk of his public funds to a NPO? Why is this relevant? Who owes a lot to very bad actors? How can she repay his payment was made under promise of victory? What cash payments occurred by Obama during the last 90 of his presidency to foreign states and slash or organizations? What slush fund did AG Sessions, through DOJ, put an end to? How does Soros, Biden, Obama, Clinton, Holder, Lynch, etc. all net many millions of dollars, normally within a single tax year? What was negotiated on the tarmac between BC and Lynch? Remember it was expected HRC was going to win during this time period. What if the wizards and warlocks tipped off a local reporter as to the supposed unscheduled stop? What if the NSA under the personal direction from ADMR had this meeting Miss Catton logged under a false identity to prevent bad actors from locating while also verifying to said players always clear underscore no logs? What really happened when the wizards and warlocks revealed what they had? Was Comey forced into the spotlight shortly thereafter not by choice? Right before the election no doubt which would cast suspicion. These are crumbs and you cannot imagine the full and complete picture. If Trump failed, if we failed, and HRC assumed control, we as patriots were prepared to do the unthinkable, this was leaked internally and kept the delegate recount scam and BO from declaring fraud. Dig deeper, missing critical points to paint the full picture. There is simply no other way than to use the military. It's that corrupt and dirty. Please be safe and pray for those in harm's way as they continually protect and serve our great country. V. The Great Awakening, Ben Falford, the White Hats have been working behind the scenes for many 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 years to affect an outcome. Take a look at the progression of info available to the truthers and patriots. I believe someone said something to a few good folk and it slowly but steadily grew into what we see before us today. And what we know to be happening behind the scenes as well. And even before them there were many truthers that were pointed in the right direction and were speaking up but we, did not hear until recently. So be patient just because you have found out some info on what is happening and you believe you see the path to the finish line don't get in a rush. These folk, white hats, have been working at this for decades if not longer. As they say trust the plan. Many problems are wound together and we must be able to untangle and destroy them or they will re-emerge just as the heads of the Hydra. If you are looking to do something other than shoot your mouth off then I suggest you get involved with your local, county, and state governments. Become a poll watcher be available to verify the poll counts at the local level. But even more so at the county level. This is going to be our last chance to effect change that will save our constitution. So show up stand up and speak up. We have traveled a long road some say it started with Lincoln and many have given their all to this cause. So be patient and try to understand. When you hear God won. He has. We are now in the phase of as above so below. God has won the spiritual war thus enabling us to win the physical war. Pray to Him to give us our victory over evil ask Him to guide us through to a righteous outcome. Ask Him to forgive us for our stupidity and ignorance of His ways. And praise His name and that of His Son Jesus. I wish everyone to have a joyous and prosperous new year. God bless you all. The latest video will be shown earlier at the official website Restored Republic. Thanks for your support. Visit RestoredRepublic.co for the latest and earliest videos. Become our monthly supporter by clicking the Gives and Go link below each video. Our content is restricted by many social media platforms and payment gateways. So we are very grateful for your support until now. We would not be able to function without your support. God bless us all.